G'day guys, today I'm bringing you a review for the B80P Bluetti expansion battery and the Bluetti MP200 solar panels. Before I get into the video too much, I'll let you know this is a sponsored video. Bluetti have sent me these products in exchange for a review on my channel. Now, before I get into the usage and review of the products, let's just get the technical details out of the way. Okay, so the product retails for $999 Australian and is sold as an expansion battery for the Bluetti AC60 power station. However, it's also compatible with the AC180, the EB3A, the EB55 and the EB70 Bluetti power stations. Extra cables are required for those extra models. However, if you go to the store page and select the free aviation plug to DC cable option, you should get that extra cable for free. Although if you choose that option on the store, I noticed that you get the Bluetti B80, not the Bluetti B80P, but they do look pretty much identical to me apart from the color. If you want the B80P and the aviation to DC cable, you'll have to buy the cable separately. The Bluetti B80P functions as an expansion to your existing Bluetti battery, or it can be used as a standalone power station. The unit itself comes with three DC outlets, a 100 watt USB-C port, an 18 watt USB-A port, and a 12 volt 10 amp car cigarette lighter port. The battery has a capacity of 806 watt hours, and it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, or life PO4 if you prefer. It's got the one AC input at the top there of 200 watts max, and that can hook up to the wall, or your solar panel, or your car, or an existing Bluetti power station. Not all of those cables are included with the package, so read the details carefully. If charging from the wall, an AC adapter, you're looking at a charge time of four and a half to five hours. If you're recharging it from a solar panel, you're looking at the same time of around four and a half to five hours. That's with ideal sunlight conditions. If charging it from a 12 volt car cigarette lighter port, you're looking at eight and a half to nine hours to charge it. The unit comes with a very impressive six year warranty. It weighs in at 9.9 .9 kilos and the dimensions are 290 millimeters by 207 millimeters by 204 millimeters. The certifications include PSE, RCM, UKCA, FCC, CE and CA65. I have no idea what those mean, but hopefully you do. Now that we've got all the technical stuff out of the way, let's have some fun with them. Let's see how they work. I'll start with the B80P expansion battery. All right, so let's turn it on. I'll press the power button there. You can see it's lit up green and it's indicating a current charge of 40%. When I pulled this out of the box, it was 60% and I've been doing my best to run it a bit more flat for this video. I've charged my GoPro batteries 10 or 15 times. I ran an LED light for a couple of days. I charged my phone a couple of times and it's only taken it down to 40% as indicated by the two green lights there on the display. So to charge a device, I want to enable DC by pushing the DC button there, which is now lit up green. Uh, my phone I'm going to plug in is a USB-C, so I'll remove the rubber thing there, which is helping waterproof it. I will plug in one end to there, plug the other end into my phone. Simple as that, charging. With DC enabled, I can also plug in a device to the USB-A, which is your standard USB port or the car cigarette lighter port. I can run one or all three at once. It doesn't matter, you can run all of them at once. Your DC input port at the top right, that's where you charge the device from, which I'll show you shortly. And if I turn the unit to the side, you've got a port here. That's your expansion port. That's where you hook up the battery to another power station to basically make them one big power station. And it's also got a bleed valve here. So I want to connect this to my existing Blue Eddy power station, which is an EB3A. I've already done a review on that power station unit. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the review for this unit. But today we're mostly talking about this. Uh, now I'm going to connect this one to this one. So this is the cable that comes with the B80P. It's aviator to aviator type. 
and that's so it can connect to the AC60 that it's made for. This one's no good to me because I've got the Blue Eddy EB3A, so I need that extra cable I spoke about earlier. This is the aviator to DC cable. So I'll remove the protective cap from there. I'll find the arrow and put it at the top and just push that onto the expansion port at the side of the battery. And I plug the DC straight into the top one. The batteries are now connected via cable. I'll push a button on that one to bring up the display. And then I hold the power button on this instead of just pressing it. And that tells it that I want to use it to expand another power station. That will come on. And with a bit of luck, the top one should start receiving some input watts there. And you see it's counting up and charging because they're functioning for all intents and purposes as a single power station now. So it's running at about 175 watts of input there. And at that rate, it'll take about 1.4 hours to fully charge this top power station, at which point I can keep them connected and it will keep acting as an energy reserve for the power station. So with them hooked up like this, it means I can use the AC output of the EB3A or other power station, whichever you may have, for a much longer time because it's got the battery backup of the bottom expansion battery. Now while it's hooked up like this, I can use any of the ports on the top unit and any of the ports on the bottom unit. So it's also given me a lot of diversity in the amount of devices I can have plugged in at one time. And if I use the car cigarette port cable that's sold separately, I can actually charge in reverse order. So I can plug this into the cigarette port up there and plug it into the input of the bottom one. And that should charge this device from that one. Or I can do it vice versa, I can plug this into there and that into there and it'll charge the other way. If I'm done wanting them to act as a single unit, all I have to do is hold the power button on the bottom one. That's turned it off. You can see the input's gone back to zero, so I can safely just unplug the DC and aviator cables and I can separate the units again. Alright, so that's about it for the B80P. It is a powerhouse of a unit, especially when used as a backup or expansion to an existing Blue Eddy power station. Now that I've showed you what this thing can do, let me go show you what the solar panels are like. The Blue Eddy MP200 solar panels retail for $799 Australian. They've got a 24% conversion efficiency and they're IP67 waterproof with an innovative lamination technology. When a unit's folded up, I found it really easy to carry with that handle at the top. And it's got three adjustable kickstands on the back with angle clips marked on them. So you can set it up on multiple different angles or even lay it flat on the ground to get the most out of the sunlight. It's quick and easy to set up, as you can see with this really quick time lapse I made. The solar panels are rated at 200 watts. The lamination is an ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, or ETFE. The cell type is a monocrystalline silicon. The cell efficiency up to 24%, open circuit voltage of 22.9 volts, and a short circuit current of 11 amps. It uses a standard MC4 connector. They weigh 8.7 kilograms, and when unfolded, the dimensions are 2,075 millimetres by 781 millimetres by 35 millimetres. When they're folded up, they're 681 millimetres by 553 millimetres by 65 millimetres. The operating temperature is from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. So they're definitely made to withstand the Australian conditions. And they come with a 12 month warranty. Alright, so here it is folded up. I'm going to set it up and hook it up to the B80P first. So, I want it this way. I'll make them clips come out like that. Open it up. And the sun is fairly high in the sky, so I'm going to choose a low angle from the options on the back there. I'll go with the 35 degree option. Clip it on like that. This one onto the 35 and I'll just pull the stands out and let it lay back on them. I may have to go around and just pull the stands out a bit more because I can't quite reach them over the top. 
like that. Pull this one out and this one out. And the sun's up there, so I'll just rotate it a little bit around that way. Fix that stand that just moved. There we go. So it's now set up for optimal sun absorption. I'm going to hook it up to the B80P. Which end of my cable's at? Ah, oh, good, I chose the right end. <laughs> Unzip this thing that contains all the cables. It's just a, st a standard solar panel cables there. And I've got the adapter that'll work with the Blue Eddy. Make sure the... The... Uh, what are they called? Arrows. Make sure the arrows line up. Arrow, arrow. That's in. And without even touching a button on the B80P, I'll just plug it in there. And that should come on and indicate that it's charging. There we go. Got some green lights on it. And they're starting to fill up. So that's charging my Blue Eddy B80P now. As easy as that. All right, so it's still charging, but let's say for argument's sake, this thing's fully charged and I want to switch and I want to charge my EB3A instead. Just unplug it from there, plug it into there. The display's automatically come on there and it should start getting some watts into it in a second. Give it a minute. There we go. It's up to 50, 98, 118. That's pretty good. At that rate, it'll only take 1.9 hours or almost two hours to charge this thing to full. And it's down at 12% at the moment. So two hours to charge it to full from 12%. That's pretty good. All right, so that one's charging along nicely with the solar panel. And you might say, Rowan, I don't want to be swapping and changing cables when one's full and charge the other one by moving the plug from here to here. That's okay. I can do something even better for you. I can connect them as expansion mode as I showed earlier in the video and charge both at once from the solar panel so what I'm going to do I just turn that one back off this one's off I'm going to plug in the expansion cord the aviator cord into the side port of the uh, B80P here just like that and I'll plug this into the input there now I'll hold down the power button to set this into expansion mode there we go, it should be doing that now. So we'll check that this thing is charging. Yep, we're starting to get some watts on the left there. That'll count up. There we go, 143, 175. I think that's what it sits at. So that is now in expansion mode. This battery is connected to this battery as one power station. So now, if I plug the solar panel into the input of this one, they should both start charging at the same time. Let's see green lights here should start flashing to indicate that's charging there we go you can see I'm going up there that is charging and this one is still charging at 176 watt input all right so I'm going to leave them plugged in until they're fully charged it should take about two hours according to the unit on the right I'm going to move them around behind the solar panel just so they've got a bit of shade they're not sitting in the direct sunlight but I'm pretty happy with that that's set up really well and there we are, they're both set up nicely charging in the shade of the solar panel. Alright, so there's everything I know about the B80P power station slash expansion battery and the MP200 solar panels from Blue Eddy. The only downside I could find to either product was on the B80P. I would have liked one of those little LCD displays that shows more information rather than just a row of flashing lights when you're charging it and stuff. Other than that, no complaints whatsoever they're both great things especially the solar panels i'm really impressed with those there's a black friday sale running right now on their website until december the 3rd details for that will be down in the video description but otherwise hopefully you enjoyed this review video hopefully you found it useful and i'll see you next time